Hello, I'm Professor Wool, and today I'll provide some tips on how to prepare for network segmentation by identifying the segment borders. So imagine that you're uh, running a data center in this blue square over here. It has various systems inside it. Uh, it's separated from the outside world by a firewall, but internally traffic is unfiltered. Um, and you want to introduce micro segmentation to protect pieces inside your data center from each other uh, to become more robust against various attacks. So the first thing that you need to do is to identify all the network flows happening inside the data center. How would you go about doing that? Well, a good way to do so would be to use uh, a NetFlow source, uh, having it uh, sniff all the traffic internally and provide NetFlow output to a discovery engine uh, which would then identify the network flows inside the data center. Uh, an intelligent discovery system uh, can uh, also break up the flows into um, flows that have logical connections to each other, for instance, based on shared IP addresses like here and here. Um, and then augmenting that information with uh, labels such as uh, object names and the whole application would get a name from additional sources uh, either uh, semi-automated or with human input uh, and you'd get a picture like this identifying a trading application relying on three separate flows uh, and uh, traffic inside your data center. Now you want to decide um, how to micro-segment. You want to put another filter here uh, so that uh, some of these components are separated from the others um, and you need to find out what that is going to do uh, in terms of filtering. I mean if you introduce a, a new filter along this line then all of a sudden <clears throat> some of the flows that cross this boundary need to have explicit rules inside the new network filter to allow the traffic, otherwise the trading application will fail. Uh, so how do you know which rules you need to add to this uh, uh, purple filter that you're preparing? Well, if you look at the flows that came out of the discovery process, it's possible to annotate them automatically uh, based on information from the existing firewalls. For instance, this flow over here, we can see is annotated with a green star. That means that there is an explicit rule in one of the firewalls over here that permits this traffic. Therefore, this flow is already filtered and you don't necessarily need to add another rule for it when you micro-segment. However, these Two other flows are currently unprotected, they don't go through any firewall, so if you add a new filter you need to consider whether they would be blocked or not. Uh, in the example that I've sketched here, um, the flow here in the middle crosses the purple line and therefore it would need a new rule to be added to the purple filter. The point to take away from this uh, uh, description is that if you use your discovery system to identify the flows and combine that with information coming from the firewalls to recognize which flows are already going through a filter and which are completely unfiltered. This can assist you greatly when you decide where to put the boundaries on your new micro segments and which policies you need to put in those uh, newly defined filters. Thank you for your attention.